The Yemen conflict has brought into sharp focus um, some of the development needs uh, in the naval arena, particularly uh, around threats uh, in the Bab al-Mandeb off the coast of Yemen, uh, which were reflected, of course, in a Saudi frigate being targeted very recently. Um, not only that, there are ongoing issues of piracy, drug smuggling, uh, which mean that the Coast Guard are always on high alert. Um, there are huge movements of people as well, um, immigrants and refugees. So these sorts of things are only exacerbated by war. They're not made any easier. So there's a naval component here where I think there needs to be a lot more done and a lot of thinking done about how to counter the activity of the Islamic Republic of Iran, but also uh, at the uh, sort of more day-to-day -day level where uh, we see threats increasing all the time and those need to be addressed too at the Coast Guard uh, level. Well, clearly after two years of war, um, there's a lot of wear and tear on existing equipment. Um, that is um, clear with the fast air capabilities, um, but also in terms of the just general wear and tear um, for units on the ground as well. So there's a, a need for constant maintenance, um, which has only increased and will keep increasing as long as this war goes on. Uh, resupply and restocking of ammunition, be that air to ground, be that for uh, rifles or, or for um, field guns or whatever. So there's a number of different capabilities which need to be constantly maintained and upgraded as well as um, the C4I that comes with that. For many years uh, there have been um, numerous attempts to integrate the GCC a little bit better in terms of its thinking about defence, in terms of its conception of what to do to meet the defence challenges together, and that is also reflected in procurement. So when we look at the missile defence architecture, it's quite clear that uh, the GCC states have opted for PAC-3 or THAAD, uh, and I think that's helped with integration. What needs to happen now is at the platform level, so both in terms of air, land and sea, um, that there needs to be a little bit more integrated thinking. There's a lot of work still to go, but it is being done. Um, I would hope that in the next 10 to 15 years, more will be done um, to assist with that. But at the moment, I think it's still mostly every man for himself. Uh, and I think that that needs to be worked on.